Surprise Comics. So this may be one of the worst thing that's ever come in the shop, or maybe there is some gold. This box was just dropped off here at the shop. Uh, it was found, let me give you the backstory on this a little bit. So the person who found this box uh, works in a certain industry where there was an abandoned foreclosed on house and the people left behind everything in the house. There was a bunch of junk and in the corner of the garage was this box. He knows nothing about comics. He came, he dropped them off at the shop. He said, have a look, let me know uh what they're worth if, look i'm just pulling out a couple things uh, i could be promising we got a wizard number one a newsstand edition we got a spawn one but this thing obviously has been road hard and put up wet as they say we're going to go through the whole thing uh make it as digestible as possible see if we find anything good but before we hop too far into it i want to remind you we have six copies left of the world tree number one bryce comics exclusive available uh for pre-sale at brycecomics.com while you're there if you sign up for the newsletter you're entered to win a free slab each and every month and use code collect 10 for 10 percent off all in stock items so it doesn't apply to the pre-orders. Also, we do that monthly giveaway here on the YouTube channel. If you subscribe, comment, and like, you're entered to win a free slab each and every month. And we also have some brand new trades available now at BriceComics.com. So all of these books uh, are listed at Bryce Comics, and you can see the trade values um, that each one has. If you're interested in trading for any of these books, just send me a list of slabs. I'm doing it for slabs. I'll look up values. Um, and again, the values will be posted on the website. All right, so we got Amazing Spider-Man 15 and a 9.0, the first appearance of Craven. Amazing Spider-Man 300, 9.6, White Pages, Newsstand Edition, signed by Todd McFarlane, first Venom. Marvel Spotlight number two, Origin and First Appearance of the Werewolf by Night, Triple Sign, Stan Lee, Neil Adams, and Jerry Conway. Amazing Spider-Man 33 and a 9.6, Amazing Steve Ditko Arts. Pocket Guide to China, uh, no number. This also comes with a reader copy of it. Really cool history behind this book from World War II. Invincible Iron Man number nine, the Turcot variant in a 9.8, first full appearance of Riri Williams. Journey into Mystery, number 85, and a 1.5. Third appearance of Thor, and of course, the first appearance of Loki. Amazing Spider-Man 32, and a 9.4. Just so awesome to see an early 12-cent Spidey key like this in such high grade. The second appearance of Dr. Kurt Connors. Amazing Spider-Man 37, and 9.0, White Pages. First appearance of Norman Osborn. And Incredible Hulk, number 2, and a 2.5. The first appearance of the Green Hulk. And Submariner number one in a 9.4 with white pages. Tons of trade opportunities. Uh, everything's posted over at BriceComics.com. So let's hop into that box and see if it is as bad as it looks. All right, so first thing I think I'm gonna do to make this a little bit easier is just take everything from this box and put it into long boxes here, and then we'll flip through it together. I got my gloves on, because these things are nasty. And then of course, we have stuff like baseball cards and stuff too. So, you know, obviously these books have not been, you know, cared for. So if it seems like I'm being a little rough, I'm not, you're not risking any damage with these. They have been completely neglected. So uh, give me just a second. We'll load all these stuff up into these long boxes. All right, so there you have it, guys. Check out the gloves just from uh, transferring them there to that box. So let's flip through and see if there's any gold. All right, so it looks like mostly 90s junk, to be honest, but uh, there's also some baseball cards and some magic cards over here if you want to get a shot of this. There's actually one magic card. I Island Fish... Island Fish Jaconius. We'll research that. Uh, one magic card and then some uh, some baseball cards that look like, you know, 70s, 80s, 90s, actually mostly 80s and 90s junk baseball cards. So I don't think there's any value there. 
All right, guys, so here we are. It's a new day. What happened was we went through this box and it kept auto focusing on my hand. And so it was like all of this footage of really clear pictures of me with my gloves, but you couldn't really make out the comics. So we're going to reshoot the footage here uh, and, and save you guys from uh, focusing on my hand. So these are the two boxes. I have already gone through it and I set aside the ones that were somewhat decent over there. And uh, so I apologize you're going to miss all of the footage of me um you know seeing stuff for the first time but uh it'll it'll be a more digestible video let's go through some of the decent stuff first now the thing about it is that all of the books in this collection even the decent stuff is such low grade that it's uh, a very little value but we do have stuff like spawn one wizard number one newsstand edition i mean this is about a 2.5 i haven't checked it for completeness um but it might not even be complete but a 9.8 of this just sold for like seventeen thousand dollars which was probably an anomaly high but uh in this condition i'm not even sure what it, someone would be willing to pay um for like a 2.5 raw copy um some a lot of newsstand stuff in here which is cool so this collector probably got a lot of their stuff at like 7-eleven some uh, you know, newsstand spawn, but it is very, very low grade, like probably in like the three to four range, like something, you know, just incredibly low grade stuff. Newsstand edition of Wildcats, number one, uh, another newsstand, but again, just super, super, super low grade. Uh, some, some spawn, uh, first blood sports, another newsstand spawn, gen 13 newsstand, uh, some more spawn, more spawn newsstands, and that's about it. And just to give you kind of an idea of the other stuff, um, it's basically 90s junk. You know, it's uh, uh, even if it was in high grade, I mean, some books like this, that's a really cool Wolverine cover I've actually never seen before. That'd be cool in a 9.8, but I mean, it's probably like a 3.0. 4.0 type stuff. One thing that I thought was cool was uh, these sports magazines uh, price guide. That's kind of cool. It's just kind of like nostalgic, cool to see. And this was cool to see the Marvel previews mag um, here from 1994. They still put one of these out uh, every few months. Uh, and it's just crazy to see that about 30 years later, they're still going strong with the Marvel previews. Getting back here to some more of this stuff, like just 90s junk is what it turned out to be. But what we were looking for was Batman Adventures 12. We were looking for New Mutants 98. Um, and we did have some Batman Adventures, like Batman Adventures. Oh, there we go, right there. Batman Adventures 5. Uh, so we're looking for Batman Adventures 12, the first appearance of Harley Quinn. That's like a $1,000 book, even in like a mid-grade. But unfortunately, it was not in here. So just a complete bust. What would you do? What should I do with this? I mean, uh, the guy doesn't expect any money at all. Look at my gloves after just touching those. He wasn't expecting any money at all. I, I think, honestly, I'm just going to pass on it. Like, I just don't even want it. Like, there's there's no price where I would actually want this. I'd be kind of embarrassed to sell these. I have to rebag them. I have to touch them. They're nasty. I mean, this little chunk right here, I mean, in that condition that it's in, maybe 50 bucks. Um, so, you know, I might offer them 20 bucks. So I'll say, hey, I'll give you 20 bucks sell it for 50, rebag and board everything. Uh, yeah, honestly, I just really don't want it. It's just junk, you know, and, and it's unfortunate. You know, uh, some of this stuff might have been okay if it was really high grade, but it's almost like this person only collected stuff that's not worth money. <laughs> like, if I had to put it in a nutshell, it's like they tried to miss the keys, right? Um, it's definitely the worst collection I've ever seen come through the shop. But the silver lining is, you know, it wasn't like some treasured collection. This was just found in the corner of a, a of a garage somewhere completely neglected. Maybe the collector took all the good stuff and left this behind when the house was foreclosed on or something like that. Either way, um, thanks for coming along with me to try to find some gold. You never know, it's always worth checking. You know, if they had Batman Adventures 12, this whole thing would have been worth it. Um, so uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like for your chance to win a free slab. Head over to BryceComics.com, sign up for the news 
newsletter for your chance to win a free slab each and every month. Use code COLLECT10 for 10% off. And uh, yeah, thanks as always for sticking with me to the end of the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Brise Comics.